Hey guys, it's Aika. We're gonna be checking out uh, Mire Sonio Mire's Killer Dance Practice. I am so excited to be checking this out. There was quite a f few cool things happening, like choreography wise, um, and I'm excited to be seeing the full thing, even though I would say it was just like a moderate amount of choreography shown in the music video. Um, I'm excited to be seeing the full thing. So, yes, you know, with it, let go. That's already so clean of an intro. Look at that. Already, I'm in love. Sick transition to the lower levels. Oh. Okay, okay, they're killers. That was a nice little picture. Transition though to that formation? Come on, yes, love that. So clean, so sharp. Nice little. That was a nice transition too. Craziness here. That's that was really good movement. Like nice little slide out, then they go back again. Yo. These transitions are making me lose my mind. That, again, this whole thing, man. Yo. That was nice too, man. Yes. And that was a cool little outro, little moment there. Wow, what a choreography. Especially for your debut choreography, my lord, and stuff. There's so much I need to, I need to talk about. The way, I'll first, I'll start off with the way they sort of have their energy and just performing to a really, really hype level is something so interesting with this group because you know they have card and card has some really high energy songs and stuff and their choreography really works for that stuff and this is something similar that they're doing in terms of just like the energy like so much of the energy and the performance is brought out um in this and like the whole performance part of it not just the choreography but how they perform it um which is so interesting because it's something i haven't really like noticed a lot with a lot of other debut groups not saying that they don't but just like in terms of just like their and again, it's not only just their choreography, but again, just the performance part of it. It's just on like a different level than other groups are. Um, it's so insane. These transitions are like some of the best I've seen. 
um, because it sort of just like makes sense for where the movement is going for like transitions and stuff. And there's just some of the basic, they're just walking to the different formations. But a lot of the times it's really, really well choreographed and it's so insane. Like the transitions, the way they play with the different formations and stuff, it's just crazy. And then even just a lot of the movements are really insane out of the park. One of the best like debut choreographies for like a boy group in terms of just like really showcasing a lot of what this group can do and really has me excited to see their future like choreographies, but really well choreographed. Everything like makes sense in terms of just like a dancing perspective on how they transition and stuff. Again, some of the best I've ever seen, like Jesus and stuff. And there's some, what what's, EXO's Electricus, iconic transition choreography. That's just transitions, literally, almost entirely. But um, just they just like make sense for the movements. And then they do that sort of just like the leg movements when they're kind of going forward in the chorus, they're, move they're traveling forward. Um, and the way they just sort of just like stop and how they continue to do it beyond um, changing beyond like the transition and teaching the formations is so cool that they that that movement is kind of just like kept throughout and it's just like it's so cool because you don't see that in like k-pop choreographies like ever like unless i'm just like noticing it with them but it's really really good choreography it's fantastic you see their dancing skills you just see so much in there and they make it look so like easy and effortless too as well so they're very well trained in terms of just like dancing but also like performance aspect of it because sometimes you do have groups that just like sing and dance and then they just go through the motions of it but there's a difference between that and just like performing and that sort of aspect but um i really loved it this choreography is really really great for a debut group really leaves nothing unwanted for me like it had everything that i wa wanted and more and just kind of it was it's insane just like see just the choreography itself amazing and especially for the um especially for a debut like jesus christ i mean i think like TXT's crown will go down forever in history, but um, in terms of just like really strong choreography, it's really strong choreography and it just doesn't even look like it's a rookie uh, debut group dancing is the other thing about it. It's like that they kind of look like they've been seasoned a little bit, like it's their third or fourth year in the game and which is really insane, but I really loved it. DSP, you're, kind of, you're always going to get good choreography with them and stuff and it's just like it, just that energy that's coming through, just their dancing alone is just insane and Oh my god, I'm in love. Go on for your thoughts and comments down below what you thought about Mita's killer dance practice. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you like to me and you want to see more of my videos, go on and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, or in the description down below. Or at the end screen, share this video to your friends. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you and I'll tell you guys later. Bye. You know you want this Take a step in.